Hi there, thanks for visiting MuseThemes.com. Let's check out the new release of Adobe Muse called Muse CC 2014, or as we've been calling it for a little while, version 8. Now the first thing you're going to notice when you launch this new version is the new dark UI. So the entire interface has changed and it looks and feels a lot more like InDesign or Photoshop. The application's been rebuilt as a native app, meaning it no longer uses Adobe Air, and it's going to act a lot more like these flagship products from Adobe. It's going to be stable, and it's going to be fast. So let's take a little tour of the new UI. Things have changed a little bit in terms of the locations of certain tools and elements. You notice on the left side now, we have our toolbar. This used to be along the top in the last version of Muse, and if I just drop to Muse here, the old one, you can see that the toolbar is actually up here. Now in the new version, it's kind of attached to the left side of the screen. Up along the top, we have the control bar, which has things like our fill, our stroke, and things that are specific to the tool you're working with. Now all the way on the right is we have our plan, design, and preview buttons. And then below that on the right side, we have actual docked panels. Now this is an awesome, awesome new feature. Um, if you're like me, the old system that Muse used where the panel kind of floated around on top of your site drove me crazy. Now we get these nice panels that just kind of fly out and you can actually arrange these any way that you want. You can drag them, delete them, do whatever you need. So it's a massive, massive improvement and I've built a few sites so far in the new version and I just love working with it. So the next thing let's take a look at is actually how you change the UI color. It's similar to other apps. So if you go up to preferences, you see this area here that says color theme. So you don't need to leave it dark. You can actually drop this down to different shades of gray, all the way down to kind of this almost white or you know light gray background that you had in the old version of Muse. Now, I feel like everyone is going to leave it dark because it just looks so much cooler, but uh, the choice is 100% up to you. Let's take a quick look now at kind of the control that you have in the window for the site you're working with. So you notice that the site is kind of taking up this full area within the app. But if we would actually grab the corner of this window and drag it, it kind of undocks it. And we can now have multiple sites open at different window sizes. So this makes working with multiple sites, or let's say you've downloaded multiple Muse themes templates and you want to copy and paste elements from them all. This makes it much, much easier to do. And if you want to put this window kind of back into the application, if you just go up to Window, Arrange, and select Consolidate All by Site, it just puts it and locks it back nicely into place. Another big change in this release is Adobe has rebuilt the preview area for your site. So if you click Preview, you can see it loads much faster, but you're going to get a more realistic preview of how the site's going to look. Now, to be honest, we always preview in the browser. We rarely ever use this preview panel, but from what we're seeing in this version, it's certainly performing a lot better. We still like to go file and preview page and browser. So that's it. That's a quick tour of the new dark UI in the new release of Muse. Uh, I hope you're as excited as we are to start working with this full time and check out our next video, which we're going to discuss our new favorite feature or another favorite feature, which is the retina display functionality in this version. Cheers.